Throughout this entire workshop, we've been looking at examples of using the Arduino Uno, and all of the mini projects have been using the capabilities of the Uno. But the beauty of Arduino is that there is a plethora of Arduino and Arduino compatible boards out there. So I thought it'd be good to mention some standouts, boards which have an incredible uniqueness to them for different projects. The first board is the Arduino Dew, this guy here. Dew, D-U-E by the way. If you're after an official Arduino board which has plenty of horsepower and I.O. pins to get the job done, then the Dew is for you. It's a 32-bit microcontroller clocking in at 84 megahertz. Bear in mind that the Arduino Uno you know, is 16 megahertz, so a big jump in clock speed. You can get a whole lot more stuff done. And with the expanded pin layout, it can tackle more advanced projects thanks to its ARM Cortex architecture. The only downside is that it well downside is that it's a 3.3 volt board, which means that you have to be more careful when using a 5 volt Arduino and logic level converters may be required to integrate it with your existing hardware. Having said that, most boards now are 3.3 volts. It's even 3.3 volts are starting to look as old as 5 volts once did with uh, 1.8 volts as low as that been uh, the norm for a lot of integrated circuit projects. Now the next mention is the line of Teensy boards. Teensy is a fantastic ARM Cortex-based microcontroller platform, a board which was created by Paul Stoffrigen as a compact Arduino compatible board with the power to create any project. The new Teensy 3.6 clocks in at 180 megahertz, which is huge. It's also a 3.3 volt only board, so be careful. The third honorable listing is Adafruit Circuit Playground. It's got an 80 mega 32U4 on board, which gives it native USB capabilities. It has NeoPixels around the edge, sound sensors, accelerometer, and heaps more. All in a really compact circular board, so it's perfect for wearables, classroom projects, or if you're after something to put your newfound coding skills to the test, without worrying about all of the hardware connections, it is a fantastic place to start. And last but not least is the Particle Photon, which is a Wi-Fi uh, enabled board, and the Electron, but again from Particle, its older brother, which is a 3G connected board. While not Arduino compatible boards, they don't work with the Arduino IDE. These boards use Particle's cloud-based IDE, which shares the wiring programming abstraction, which allows code to be ported almost line for line between Arduino and Particle. Because of their incredible Wi-Fi and 3G connectivity options, Getting stuck into IOT projects has never been easier, and the Particle Boards personally are one of my favorite platforms, especially seeing as almost all of the uh, really commonly and regularly used uh, Arduino libraries have been ported over to the Particle platform, so it's really easy to get started if you're the slightest bit familiar with Arduino. You can find specific tutorials and information on all of these platforms on the tutorial section of our website, and that brings us to the conclusion of the Arduino workshop. We'll constantly, of course, be adding in extra sections and bits and pieces, making things as great as we possibly can. But it's been a fantastic adventure creating this Arduino workshop and going on it with you guys. So I hope you've got something out of it and that you really enjoy it. Be sure to share it with a friend if you've got someone in mind who you think would love to get stuck into programming. And I'll see you on any future videos.